Madam Speaker, at this time I'm happy to yield a minute to our distinguished uh, former Republican whip, my friend from Springfield, Missouri, Mr. Blunt. The gentleman from Missouri is recognized for one minute. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, last year I worked with the Speaker to help pass a bill, a stimulus bill, that the Speaker at that time said had to be, first of all, timely and targeted. And, ma Madam Speaker, I I'd argue that this bill is neither. It's certainly not targeted. It's a broad brush of everything that the majority's wanted to do for the last decade, even before before they were in the majority, uh, and it's not timely. In fact, the estimates are that 7% of the money that would be spent in this bill could be spent in the next year. Uh, Alice Rivlin, President Clinton's budget director, said yesterday before the House Budget Committee, we'd be a lot better off if we were budget if we were debating that seven percent, and we were taking the other ninety-three percent and having hearings and trying to do what the Speaker said in her fact sheet we had done here. The late uh, Miss Fox just mentioned this fact sheet, which frankly, Madam Speaker, wasn't even factual when it was printed. It says in my committee, the Energy and Commerce Committee, that six Republican amendments were adopted and incorporated into the bill. Three of them were already taken out of the bill before the fact sheet was printed, Madam Speaker. I would like to yield my friend an additional 30 seconds to continue his very important argument about the, uh, the issue that Ms. Fox raised. I, I thank the gentleman for yielding. So three of these were already out of the bill when this was printed. Uh, the amendment I had just simply said nothing in this legislation would prevent pharmacists from talking to their patients. That wasn't quite good enough, so in the 12-hour markup that really did nothing to change the bill, as it turns out, we spent three hours of that 12 hours agreeing on language so pharmacists could talk to their patients, and that language was taken out before this fact sheet was even printed. The fact sheet's not, not factual. The stimulus isn't stimulated. I urge that we defeat this rule and defeat this bill. Gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from Colorado. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield two minutes to the gentlewoman from California.